Oh my gosh, I am so incredibly excited because today we are in York and I love York so much. So I've been having a look at things to do in York recently and I found a few different things online, mainly the historic kind of things such as the Wall of Minster, the castle, things like that which are amazing and fantastic and are definitely, definitely worth doing. However, I found a few things that haven't been mentioned too much and I would really, really love to show you some kind of alternative things to do whilst in York because there's just so, so much to do. So yeah, today I'm going to take us around a few different places and hopefully show you some places that maybe you haven't seen before or heard of before. I'm thoroughly excited to show you and let's get cracking. <laughs> They do all sorts here. They do food, they do produce, they do retail stuff. So let's see what they have. This is York gin and apparently it's got really, really tasty, delicious gins in there. I think you can sample some, but it's really good if you are a bit of a gin connoisseur. <laughs> Just about to open. Spark is a collection of upcycled shipping containers full of independent businesses such as food, drink, yoga, retail, and plenty of different things like that. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. That smells so good. It's got me very, very hungry. <laughs> We're now just going to walk to the main river part of York, just the riverside bit. And oh, you'll see what I've got planned for that. <laughs> So 
So all of those places at Spark looked absolutely fantastic and delicious and really got me hungry. <laughs> but today we have brought a little picnic with us to enjoy on the riverside which is another option next time we come we're definitely going to eat from some of the places at spark because wow they just looked wonderful but yeah fortunately the sun is out and the river is looking beautiful and we're going to have our little picnic what an absolute treat of a view whilst enjoying a little sandwich These boats here, you can do a little trip on and the driver actually tells you facts and history, facts about York. We've done a floodlit evening one before where you get a glass of Prosecco and it plays jazz music. But that is an option to also keep in mind for things to do. So there's another one lot going past. And then following just behind is a little self-drive one. So you can hire those and self-drive them yourselves or you can jump on one of those and be driven around and told some facts about the city. Lots of vegan organic stuff there. Nom nom nom. Okay, so I got peaches and cream, which was lick of the week, and it is honestly oh, just so delicious. This is exactly how I think I want my living room and bedroom to look now. <laughs> This is fantastic York Minster and I do want to do a video like I said earlier on all of the historic and interesting things like that in York but today we're not doing but you can still appreciate it just by walking past it and admiring all of the craft and skills that went into building such a beautiful place.
Indy York map and it's a map which shows you all of the independent businesses that are in the city and it's really really fantastic. It shows you where they are and then puts a code on it with the list of them all on the back and there's retail, food and drink, culture, health and well-being and stay and services so it is a really really good map and apparently 65% of York is made up of independent businesses which is just wonderful so if you are going to come here I definitely definitely recommend trying to go to some independent businesses as it's really good for them and they usually do some really good and interesting and special unique products very very interesting I will put this link down in the description box below for you as well so you can have a little peek. <laughs> We're currently hiding in a little alleyway kind of thing because it is just absolutely chucking it down. <laughs> We're seeing so many, so many more places that we want to go for like cups of tea or food. Oh my gosh, look, this is floating down. That's how wet it is. It's actually flooding down here. Oh yeah, so we've seen loads more places that we want to visit, but um, we've just eaten and drank too much today, so we decided it's time to go home. Just as the rain's hitting the hardest, 